Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and today we got a fun video. I'll be talking about Daryl Green and yes, the Daryl Green you're thinking of, he's trying to train some of the Washington Commanders young DBs, including second round pick Mike Sanders still. So we'll talk about that, maybe even Emmanuel Forbes, hopefully he can get him uh, in the lab with, you know, Daryl Green. And then also the Commanders made a signing and a crazy Daryl Green video while we're at it. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. And sorry for the lack of uploads last couple weeks. It is finals week and, or sorry, the last couple of days I didn't upload, not last couple weeks. But yeah, it is finals week, so very busy with that. Had one today and just got back from a rainstorm biking back. And uh, so that's why, you know, last couple of days hasn't been a lot of videos, but going to try to get back on it once finals are over, which my last one is tomorrow. But yesterday, Daryl Green went viral on Twitter and that got me thinking of something I saw a week ago, about, yeah, about a week or two ago after the commanders drafted Mike Sander still about what he said you know, trying to get Daryl Green to train him. And then I was like, okay, we can maybe make a video about this. So first, let's, just, you know, I think the OGs will like this. Daryl Green just looking super, super quick. And this is at 64. And obviously it's sped up a little bit, but still, I mean, for a 64 year old to be moving like that, I mean, he's moving better than the commander's DBs last year. So, uh, you know, he couldn't have done much worse is all I'll say. Uh, would have definitely got beat up for sure, but uh, he's still moving like he was, you know, 25 years ago when he played in the league. And then he posted on Twitter, you know, he or not Twitter, on Insta, uh, I guess, I don't know, just doing some drills or whatever, and he still looks quick. He doesn't really lift up his feet, but you see what he's doing there. And then Mike Sainter still, he, this was this past week, if you don't know, Commanders picked him in the second round, cornerback, you know, nickel cornerback out of Michigan, uh, very, you know, versatile guy, strong, he's small, very similar to Daryl Green's build, I'm not saying he's Daryl Green, you know, whatsoever, but, and I, I'm, I'm on Instagram right here, if you want to go follow my Insta, maybe I'll put in the uh, description, just Pedro Smith, whatever, if you want to keep up with me, but um, he says, let's get in the lab, OG, he says that, which you love to see. You love to see these players take initiative. This guy's a team captain. He's going to be, you know, he, he works hard, but still, I mean, all these players work hard, but, you know, he's a, he's a good character guy. A lot of the guys they drafted were captains, but he was, he was the heart and soul of that Michigan defense. And for him to already be taking this initiative and saying, let's get in the, uh, in the lab OG. And then, you know, Daryl Green commented, you say when. So that's good. He even said last year, or during last season, like he wants to, you know, uh, work with Emmanuel Forbes, or he said like one quick thing and he can fix him up real good. So I don't know if all that is true, but definitely wouldn't hurt because, you know, Daryl Green, I mean, I obviously did not watch him. He retired right when I, about when I was born, I think, but he was a very good DB for a long time and was really small coming out uh, of college, wherever he, I should know that, but um, wherever he came out of college. So he's a small guy. Mike Sanders still is a small guy. And so is Emmanuel Forbes, of course. That's like the biggest thing with him. Maybe he's not, she's not short. He's like 6'1", 6'2". He's very lanky, but his weight is a problem. It's 170 or whatever it is. So, you know, that's something that is, it's not, it, it can be an issue if you don't know how to play the right way. And obviously it wasn't an issue for Daryl Green. And we'll go ahead and look up Daryl Green just so I can see what college he went to. And I think for the older fans, this is a great trip down memory lane. So he played at Texas A&M and St. Paul's. Okay. But yeah, I mean, everything about Daryl Green. It, yeah, he career end 2002. Weight was 184. So that's not like super light, but I'm sure coming into the league, he was smaller than 184. I'm sure he's smaller than 184. So uh, he knows how to play as a small DB, but he's definitely shorter, right? He's definitely, I don't know what his height is, but he, he can't be 6'2". Maybe he is, but uh, he, you know, five, yeah, I, I knew he was shorter. Yeah, I just didn't want to look like an idiot, but I thought he was in the 5'10 range. So he's definitely, you know, smaller than Forbes. He's the same height as Mike Sainter still, though. So, and if we look at Mike uh, Sainter still, if we look at his, you know, kind of build, let's see, 
he he's 5'9", I believe, or 5'9", 5'10", 183. So that's the same kind of build as Daryl Green. So that is something, you know, again, that it'll be a good match in terms of Daryl Green training him. I think Daryl Green training any DB is good, but a guy that's very similar in his size and uh, in terms of his weight and height. And yeah, I think that's just a good combo for them. And I think, you know, hopefully they get in the lab and Mike Sanders still can get some good things out of that, you know, session and that work. And it's good that Daryl Green's doing this and trying to help out some of these young DBs. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. And, you know, there's the, I showed you guys the clip. I'll play it one more time. It's absolutely insane that he's still moving like that at 64. Uh, let's go to the commander's signing. They signed linebacker Bo Bauer, guy who played at Notre Dame probably a special teams guy maybe he makes the roster maybe not commander signs so many different guys so the guys of the past the troy apkes the you know guys like that they always stuck around they're not going to make the roster this year i mean maybe some of them if they do really really well but a lot of those guys the david mayos the john bostics the um you know like i said troy apke those guys they're going to be gone like the Bo Bowers of the world are going to replace them or whatever other linebackers they sign in free agency, obviously besides like Frankie Louvu and um, Bobby Wagner. I'm talking about the second you know, tier guys like the the Mo, no, not Mo Harris. Um, who am I thinking about? Uh, Milo Eifler and Scooter Harris. I, I don't know if any of them are still on the roster, but like guys like that, they're not going to make it unless they go absolutely crazy in training camp. It's going to be the guys like Bo Bauer uh, you know the, the low the the guys that they signed. The, these are going to be their their versions of David Mayo and John Bostic. Guys that are like special teams guys. Hopefully, like John Bostic should have never been playing the last year or two. And David Mayo, same thing. They should have been special teams guys, and that's it. And they got on the field because Ron could not get linebacker depth, so that won't be an issue at all. Uh, but you know they're bringing their own guys and that's that's not an issue at all but yeah that's it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video going to be trying to post some more you know different videos talking about them overhauling the roster i'll post that and then also post a video maybe going over some you know cap space and the vr thing commanders are doing with Jaden daniels thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy it, and peace